Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. Firstly, a little bit of news. Um, Google Webmaster Tools has recently released two new features. Um, there's a new category called Labs, and the first one is Malware Detection. Um, if, you go, if you log into Google and go to Webmaster Tools, click on your website, and then click under Labs, Malware Detection. Uh, this is quite a useful tool, um, you know, just to determine whether Google's flagged your website as having any malware installed on it, particularly if your website's dynamic, definitely worth taking a look at. They've also released the option of Fetch as Googlebot, which basically shows you a version or a simulation of your site as to see what Google sees it as, and you can just basically check that it looks how it's supposed to look. Hey, okay, this week's tip, we're going to show you 10 quick tips for Dreamweaver. So we're using Dreamweaver CS4 for this demonstration, but most of these uh, tips you can use in previous versions as well. So the first tip is to uh, drag CSS files from your files over here on the right-hand side, just into the code view. And this will actually embed the embedding code for you on the page like so. So that's quite useful. Second tip, um, not a lot of people know that Dreamweaver's got a built-in um, coding validator, a bit like the W3C validation tool. If you go to File, Validate and Markup, this will validate the page like so. Third tip is link targeting. Uh, let's say for example I wanted to link up this word to a, another page. Down here in the properties panel, I'd go to link and then um, select the target. And I can drag this into my files over here on the right and select a page to link it to. So that's quite a quick, useful way to link pages together, especially if you're working in the design view. But I think it also works in the code view as well. Special characters, um, a lot of you may know that if, uh, depending on the server, special characters sometimes don't uh, load correctly in certain browsers, you can get squares, um, question marks, that sort of thing. So whilst a lot of people know how to do the ampersand, uh, you know, it's quite difficult to remember the exact HTML code for embedding special characters. So Duma has got a built-in tool, so go to insert, HTML, special characters. Here's the most common ones like copyright, trademark, pound sign, that sort of thing. To get a full list, you can click on other and this pops up the insert of the character box and here you can pick all the European characters, uh, copyright symbol, right angle quotation mark, that sort of thing. So that's quite useful. Um, next uh, is the upload shortcut. Not a lot of people know um, that you know to upload a page via FTP, if you've got everything set up in Dreamweaver Sites, you can push Shift Apple or Command. So Shift Command and U uploads the page to FTP that you're currently working on. Uh, this can be a lot easier than actually um, uploading it via FTP via your file panel. Uh, the next tip is how to do a server-side include. Um, if you're new to PHP and you're work, you know, starting to work in PHP includes, it can be quite useful to use insert server-side include and include the file this way. And that inserts the PHP inquire code like so. Let's just take that out. Okay, the next one is the dead link checker. Um, so not a lot of people again know that if you um, you know want to check for dead links on your site, you can simply right click your site. Then if you come down to the bottom, you can check links and check entire local site or just the selected files. So again, that's quite a useful tool. Uh, clean up HTML. So if you go to I think it's commands clean up XHTML. This is quite a good tool, especially if you're um, cleaning up a website that you didn't build or you're redesigning an old website but you want to try and work with it. Um, and you can use this tool to remove empty tags. You can even use this one to remove font tags. And let's just say you're converting an old design from tables into CSS. Um, you can actually enter specific tags like uh, table, you know, TRTD, and actually remove all the tags associated with tables and clear up a HTML page quite quickly. Very useful tool. The next one is how to apply comments. Um, if you go to the code view on the left hand side, there is a little shortcut here to include um, comments. Sorry, it's this one here. So you can apply a HTML comment, like so. If you're in a CSS file, you have CSS comments, JavaScript comments, PHP comments, and so forth. Again, that's quite a useful um, shortcut there for inserting comments. And finally, not a lot of people, again, know that there is actually a spell checker built into Dreamweaver. Uh, again, just go to commands and check spelling. Quite a useful uh, tool, but if like me, you're in the, uh, in the UK, just got to watch out for Americanized spellings. Okay, so that's all 10 tips. Um, quite another cool feature, uh, which I think is a bit of an Easter egg that the Dreamweaver developers made, is they've actually hidden their photographs in Dreamweaver. Uh, to see what I mean, if you click on a graphic in the design view and then come down to your properties panel on the left, hold down command and double click the left hand side of the picture and you can actually see uh, 
the people that worked on Dreamweaver and developed it. So here we've got a guy called Kin. If you hold down uh, command and keep double clicking, you can actually cycle through all of the uh, Dreamweaver developing team. There's Kristen, Larry, Lisa, and you've gone like that. So it's quite a weird little thing that the developers have built in there. Also, if you haven't seen it already, check out our SEO song. You can search for it in YouTube for SEO song or click on the link. If you have any Dreamweaver tips of your own or you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our YouTube channel or blog post. Thanks for watching.